So my project here is um, energy storage technology and why they are so important for the renewable energies. So I'm going to give you a little insight of that now with my presentation. And I'm going to start with the first picture. Um, if you heard about um, energy storage, you most probably heard uh, about the pump hydro storage, which is that, that one. And the question is, what, why do we need um, energy storage technology at all? Why it is so important? And on the second <coughs> image, you can see the fluctuation from renewable energies. You see the, the yellow one, it's in German, but I didn't find them. Just on. The yellow one is the photovoltaic. The blue one is the wind power, and the purple one, I think, is the energy demand. And this is throughout the year, and it's even more fluctuating um, throughout the day. So the curve goes up and down, and whenever there's, um, for example, wind, wind isn't always blowing, and the sun isn't always shining. So we need technologies to store that energy um, during the periods where we have a lot of energy, and um, so we can use the energy when there's no sun and no wind. So the third picture, um, it's the basic concept of a pumped hydro electricity um, storage. You can see it in the first one. And it's really simple, really. Um, you pump up water, lots of water, into higher reservoirs during the time you have the energy. And when you need it, you uh, let it flow back through turbines and produce electricity again. This one is a graph that shows um, the uh, production of the technology of the pump hydro throughout the years and also a prediction for an uh, estimation for the year 2011 to 2020. And you can see it's really increasing because uh, of the renewable energies emerging and yeah, we need it. Um, this is a map of the natural gas grid in Europe. And as you can see, it's really advanced. And the question is why, why gas? We want renewable energies. Um, the basic idea is to use the renewable energies to produce um, hydrogen in the first step and methane in the second step and um, inject it into the gas grid. Because the gas grid, as you can see, it's really bad. It delivers a huge storage possibility for renewable energies. And Germany yep. alone holds about 220 terawatt hours of storage capabilities. Um, compared to the pump hydro, for example, in Germany, it's only about 0.07 terawatt hours. So it's really a huge amount. This one um, shows the concept of a CEAS plant. It's short and stands for compressed uh, uh, energy storage. And this one is not only a conventional one. There are only two plants existing right now, one in Germany, one in the US. They're still uh, in project phase, basically. There's uh, another new idea um, with it's called uh, advanced CEAS, and the difference between that one, well, I'm going to explain it first. This one, the conventional one, uh, the, the idea is to compress air into underground storage fields, like on uh, salt mines, and when you compress the air into the, into the underground, um, with about 60 bars, so a lot of pressure, and with the pressure comes a lot of heat, so when, when you um, compress things, it, it gets warm. And there's a lot of energy loss that when you compress to 60 bars, it's about 600 degrees Celsius. So really a, a huge amount of uh, heat that gets lost in the process. And what they do right now in the plants is, as in the existing plants in Germany and the US, is um, in um, to power the turbines with the compressed energy, um, it expands again. And when it expands, it gets cold. So it freezes the turbine. So in order to um, prevent that, 
uh, there's gas fired with it. So it's basically not 100% storage technology, it's also a conventional plant that's used with it. Um, so it's one fifty fifty. There's another idea uh, that I mentioned before, it's the EA, the advanced one. Um, the idea is to use the heat that is produced when compressed, 600 degrees, and stored in, in thermal storages. And exchange it again when the turbine produces the electricity. And this is still in pilot phases in Germany. Um, it's called a Dell, it's for the project name, and it is estimated that it will be ready or commercially available throughout 2018. This is the technology that is most likely to be the one that uh, will be built in the future alongside the pump hydro, which is, is currently pretty much the only commercial available um, storage technology that we have. But the problem with it is that um, it needs special sites so to be constructed on. You can't build a pump type for everywhere. You need a high altitude difference. And so there are very few potential sites for the pump type.